Welcome back to Newbie Resellers. I'm getting ready to go to work and I just had an idea uh, for a thrifting challenge or sourcing challenge. Um, so in the handle of my door here, I have a bunch of change. It is almost overflowing. So it's about time to clean that out. And so what I was thinking is pull all that out count it up however much is there is how much we have to spend on a thrifting or sourcing trip and then we will keep track and see if we can double that triple that quadruple that etc um so i think that'd be pretty fun i know there's a rummage sale a church rummage sale coming up this friday that might be a good option um, or we might just go to Goodwill and see what we can do. So, yeah, let's let's do it and see how 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 the outcome comes. How the outcome comes. All right. So we decided to stop at Chapman's Nursery with Molly to find some flowers for a couple planters that we need to fill in. all these geraniums. It's crazy. Although it's time to go, we found some great items and now we're headed home to plant them up. Friday and we're finally headed to cash in our change from the car. We'd already cashed in some change at work and with Coinstar we were over $37. All right, uh, here we are. First rummage sale of the season. And let's go. Methodist Church rummage sale. Find what we can find. Alright, so here's our haul from the Roman church rummage sale. We got this uh, new in box set of drawer poles, uh, belt here. Everything in there was a dollar and less marked. This one was two dollars. Uh, the paperback books were 50 cents a piece, so I got two Calvin and Hobbes. I'll lot those together. And uh, we got this uh, focus in there 2002. San Francisco Giants National League Champions pin. And then these we got uh, for ourselves. Uh, Tram Craft Book. So we got this vintage uh, spree shirt and this little pot. So it was it was an okay sale, just a few things. A lot of stuff was very overworn or not in current styles. So anyways, there we go. 
All right, so we only spent about $8.50 at that remnant sale, so we still got money to burn. Uh, we're here at the Goodwill. So let's go and see what they've got, see if we can pick up any treasures to flip. Let's go. <laughs> so that's it. Um, we did not find anything there, except Sarah found something for herself. A, um, Really nice L.L. Bean jacket. Really nice. Um, it was only $12.99. So she got that for herself, but everything else just was way overpriced or damaged or anything like that. Um, a really hard time going to our regular Goodwills and flipping things to sell here. Uh, especially when we go to the bins and we can get things for under a dollar. Um, it's not like uh, a lot of the other Goodwills across the country where they've got t-shirts for under five. T-shirts here start at $8 and go up. If it's a good name brand, then they charge even more. Uh, they had a, a Athleta puffer jacket in there for $40. A bunch of Nike shoes in there starting at $40. So there's not a lot of money to be made. So it's hard for us to justify buying that. So uh, we'll hold on to the money and probably look for some garage sales. If not, we'll end up at the bins one of these days and try and finish it off. So that's it for now. Goodwill number two, here we go. Beanie, new tag, little cupcake. What's this one called? Claire V. Claire V bag is supposed to be pretty good. Yeah, the Stitch Fix uh, brand for men's new tag. Got some new tag Isaac golf shorts. And this uh, booting skirt. Well, that's all for now. Remember to subscribe to our channel to find out what happens next. And as always, thanks for watching.